Can you believe it? Today marks an incredibly special day for all of us here at Glitterbox. As for the 200th time, I welcome each and every single one of you along to the Glitterbox radio show. There was, of course, only one way I was ever going to begin today's radio show. The theme tune to so many a wonderful week. Sister Sledge and, of course, Lost in Music. So from an idea that was born in 2017, when I was just under four years into the Glitterbox radio show, we've shared thousands of records on this show and we've shared so many spectacular moments together. Today we're going to bring all of that together in a three-hour extended special. Yet three hours for you today. I'll be replaying some of my favourite moments from past interviews. I'll also be hearing from some of you guys as well, some of our loyal listeners who have pretty much been with us since day one. So as I said, for the 200th time today, sit back, relax, turn your radios up and enjoy. This is Sister Sledge and Lost in Music. Welcome along. You are listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show.
Three tracks into today's session and I hope you get the vibe already. Today's going to be full of Ghetto Box Monsters and actually every single track in the session today uh, has been selected by you. Uh, we put a post out on our Instagram just recently and said, what track would you love to hear on today's radio show? We had hundreds of responses, so I'm going to apologise now if I don't get around to playing the record that you picked. Uh, i got to send a big shout to Peter McKenna, to Scott Wilcox, listening from Kent. A big hello to Alan Story today. Uh, a massive shout to Paul Upton and a big shout to Julie Class as well. I will be getting through loads more names as we tick over today. But right now, let's get into this one. Shalimar, and there it is. Glitterbox Radio Show.
the groove, all the vibe, this one taking me back a couple of years back now. House of Yes, New York. Big shout out to all of the crew over there. I cannot wait to come and see you again. Julia and company and Breaking Down right here on the Glitterbox radio show. And before this, The Whispers and Keep On Loving Me. Uh, right, just in a moment, we're going to hear from Follamore, a classic interview. But before I play that, uh, I thought it was worth updating you guys that back in 2017, when we very first started the radio show, uh, we had a feature where a guest would come on each week and select three records. Now, that was never actually the intention. And that was something that kind of came around at the 11th hour. What we originally planned was someone would come on the show each week and deliver a guest mix. I would then present that guest mix. What we very quickly realised was we want the Glitterbox radio show to be about classic house and disco. If we ask a guest to come on each week and just deliver an hour of music, it's very hard to predict what they're going to play or where you could end up. Uh, So it was changed. Uh, Instead, we asked them to pick three records and I would present and build the rest of the radio show. Uh, But yeah, like I said, a rather beautiful mistake. But in that first series, uh, we had Follamore on the show and he picked Call in the Gang and Summer Madness. I choose it obviously because it's an amazing track first and secondly because it has been an important track for me because when I started producing I came back to my roots musically and so hip hop and house music, um, sample based music and when I started to create my own music and to create my own track I try to find a sound and this is kind of the sound I wanted to reproduce at start. Um, this summer madness cleans the gang sound is so incredible and the, the first track I produced was a sample from Cool the Gang Summer Madness.
Litter Box Radio Show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the way this is going back. I think we need a little something extra. Yeah, that? I think that's it. Uncle Sam. We're going to have a good time tonight. <laughs> Got on my shoes, got on my shirt Come on, jump up, freak a hustle Do what you want, but move every muscle Ain't no time for playing around Only one thing to do when you hear the sound Act yourself with someone else And make sure yourself ain't by yourself Dying to get on the dance floor Girl, what you waiting for? Yeah. Come on Woo. over and swing with me Tell me. Take your mind out your misery Woo. Tomorrow's gonna be another day uh -huh. Tonight I'm gonna take it light yeah. Grab the world and put it on hold world. Relax my body and rest my soul Feel the vibe surrounding me uh. Feel the bass come down on me Yeah, shake your butt but don't break your back Tap your feet and let your fingers snap No matter what size, shape or color We can jam and enjoy each other Music's pumping, I feel something I'm gonna beat my blood and heartbeat thumping This bench of fun's the pass through the door You know there's room for you on the floor You don't know if there'll be anymore so Quite so that you know how But keep on dancing, yeah, keep on dancing Baby, I'm not clocking you, I'm just glancing And what I see is a five-figure eight Yeah, waiting for the DJ to play my yeah. song Oh, Lord, I must have waited all night long Word. The joint was packed and it looked like a jungle I felt at home, there goes my song So yeah. I hit the floor and jumped on the cake Come on. Sweat pouring from my face Woo. Clothes was wet, but I didn't care Word. You know what I'm saying? So come on girl, come on girl, come on Let's, let's, let's get it on Dying to get out on the floor I waited long enough, I can't wait no more Come on girl, come on girl, come on Let's, let's, let's get it on Dying to get out on the dance floor I waited long enough, I can't wait no more Radio show. Hi Melvo, I'm Franz Bianchi DJ from Como, Italy. I'm 49, I'm a DJ since 1989 and I work in Lugano, Switzerland. For the 200th Glitterbox Radio Show, congratulations guys, I chose one of my fab tracks of 1991. It's De La Soul, a roller skating named Saturday, Dave's Home Mix, a great remix by King David Morales. Big shouts to Simon Dunmore and Manvo Baptista at Glitterbox Recordings and Defected Records. Ciao! Boy, boy on Thursday night. Boy was high, girl fly like kite. They hold hands until next day. Boy, then let's go hit his way. Boy rolls butt racks to his boy. Erection brings bad boy joys. Boy thinks of that big fat fat. Big black fat, love big black fat. Girl calls boy to stand him up on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday is the Saturday is the Saturday is the Saturday Saturday is the Saturday Saturday is the Saturday Back once more with a wallop in the score Smash about a rip 
sure to make you rock your hip Revival of the roller boogie and a ricochet To make you think about the time we spoke fun instead of fight But diving from a piece of metal should I take Yo, your life Slip your butt to the fix of this mix Force that briefcase, it's time to let loose Cause you work like heck to get the weekend check So unfasten that sleeve around your neck Connected like a ride from the wheel to the foot Come on everybody, this the funky I put
yeah, of course, uh, at some point today, we were going to share with you a little Whitney. I think you guys wouldn't forgive me if I didn't. I'm every woman for you right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. Um, before this, big shout to France, tuned in from Italy, selecting Della Soul, a roller skating jam, the David Morales remix. Um, right, we've got another guest for you. Going back to very early days, I think it was actually my fifth show. So very, very early on, um, I was handed some different contacts of people who I need to speak to for the radio show. And one of them was Jazzy Jeff. Every new generation that has come along since this record came out has adopted this record for some reason. All the way up until present day that, um, you know, it was sampled by Kanye West. You know, I just had a long conversation with Louis Vega in Naples about that. That He's like, yo, you know, this is crazy. Like, you know, the song just keeps coming back. But it was just like to realize that this is one of the early Louis Vega songs that, you know, it's, it's funny, you know, from when it came out to, you know, the generation after this, it's as soon as you drop it, everybody kind of knows the song to 15 and 16 year old kids saying, wow, this is where Kanye West had this record. You know, it's, it's, it's just an iconic record. Everybody longs to have those records that for some reason they just never go away. And I think that's one of them.
and there's before you right here on the Gutterbox radio show. Can I get a witness and the Moose team mix? On that note, a big shout to Moose. We've obviously celebrated a lot of your music over the last four years. Before this, Michelle Ayres and Respect. So yes, today is primarily about celebrating the last four years. However, I do need to take just a moment uh, to send some love uh, to the family of Phil Asher, an absolute Don who we rather unexpectedly and sadly lost just a few days back. Uh, A remarkable DJ. Um, Growing up in West London myself, I was fortunate to go and see Phil a number of times. Uh, Had the confidence just to ease between jazz records, broken to deep soul, just eased out of him with such class Uh, as I said an amazing DJ a spectacular producer Uh, so today a doff of the cap to the legendary Phil Asher who we sadly lost just a few days back here's Restless Soul Fun Band and it's hard it's hard a simple life to find it's hard to pay the bills on time it's hard to make this feeling right it's hard for me to make you mine It's hard a simple life to find It's hard for me to make you mine It's hard to get this feeling right It's hard for me to make you mine And I wouldn't have it any other way No, I couldn't No, 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 no,
listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show. Hey Melvo, it's Ellie Guy here from South Yorkshire. The track I want to hear today is If Only I Knew by Danelle Rush. I got introduced to it as a kid from my parents and I've loved it ever since. Congratulations on the 200th show. Me and my mate Nick have been listening to it since day one and we absolutely love it. Thank you so much to Ellie for selecting this one for us today. A few of you guys getting in touch, actually asking for this one. Big shout to Jackie Smith as well, loving this one. A big shout to Cam, producer Cam, that is, for all of your work over the last 
four years, an amazing producer and a lovely gentleman as well. Don't know rush for you if you only knew. Right, the one that I want to play you next, um, I'm not going to introduce it. I'm going to let my mate, the Shapeshifters, do it because we all know this record and we all know how much we love this record. However, it took a very special moment in Croatia for us all to be reminded quite how special this is. So I always look for, uh, as uh, you know, moments in the journey as a DJ uh, during a set. And I was crate digging just before the festival, and um, I play. I found South Street Players, and some I hadn't played for a while. And it's a Daniel Bovey mix, obviously. Um, and I thought, all right, I'm going to test, test this out at High uh, the previous week. And it was just a moment. Um, it's just one of those kind of forgotten gems a little bit. It, it was played to death back in the day, but now, you know, it's it's been uh, been languishing um, and playing it to the, the festival crowd here on the main stage for Glitterbox was epic. It was just one of those amazing moments. So I'm really pleased that uh, we went there because it's one of those, it could go down a bit too much or, you know, people might not get it, but everyone was singing it back to me. Uh, everyone got it. It was a wonderful moment. Pretty special moments for all of us right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. The South Street Player and Who Keeps Changing Your Minds. Big shout to Simon Marlin, aka the Shapeshifters, for picking this. And you know what? You've championed the record. This one, sir, I would never play <laughs> on the same night as you. Uh, before we go into the next one, uh, a big shout to Anastasia. Thank you for getting in touch. Hello to Charlie Ralph. Hello to Ollie J getting in touch. Hello to Nicholas Bertram as well, selecting Bad Company. Yes, of course, I'm going to play that later. Uh, hello to Katie Smith as well. Uh, and yeah, some more shout outs to come uh, in a few minutes time. Uh, but first up, let's go a little bit disco. This is She Can't Love You. I was a 
by and the track I picked today I chose because the first time I heard it was on the show it's Skip Worth and Turner thinking about your love I honestly can't believe it's the 200th show um, as I've been listening from the beginning but I just want to say a massive congratulations and thank you to Glitterbox team and especially you Melvo for bringing us sunshine and happy every week without fail big love you are locked in to the Glitterbox radio show Glitterbox where love lives
we do right here is go back, way back, back into time. These are the sounds of glitter box. Listening to Melville Baptiste on the Glitterbox Radio Show.
Of course, of course, we weren't going to get through an entire radio show without celebrating some of the music of Miss Diana Ross. The track in the background is The Boss, and this has been sent out directly to all of you, but especially to my NYC crew. Big shout to Ryan Smith. All the love to you, mate. Thank you for getting in touch. A big hello this week to Lindsay and Angie as well. Always lovely to hear from you guys. I hope you're well. And a huge shout to my team as well. Big shout to Simon Dunmore, the boss man. I've obviously been tapping Simon on the shoulder for a number of records over the last four years. Equally, a huge shout to Tom Coxhead this week as well. Tom has been such an integral part of this team from day one. Right, going to keep things moving. And next up, we're going to hear from a gentleman who's been on the show a couple of times. He's a resident DJ for us and he's a wonderful producer. His name is Dimitri from Paris. And this is Dimitri talking about Lolita Holloway and Love Sensation. Well, I mean, Lolita Holloway doesn't need much introduction. She's pretty much the quintessential disco diva, um, the, the the gospel preacher turned into a disco diva. And uh, this is probably her biggest song, Love Sensation. And uh, I've always wanted to find a way to make it slightly more DJ friendly. So I've actually used as the basis of this edit uh, a demo mix that was only released in Holland for some reason. It's uh, it's Shepard Bones demo mix. It's not the one you find on the usual releases. And and I love to play this at Witch Box because I mean no matter what people will always sing along in the chorus because they might remember it as this was also sampled by Black Box. So again, a perfect little box record because it spans uh, over uh, different eras from the 70s where it was done to the 80s where it was sampled up to today with this new re-edit.
Yeah, still sounding so, so fresh for all of us. And I think this may have been, if not the most impactful record of our entire journey over the last four years. It's got to be up there. Top one, top two, three. Uh, the Vision featuring Andrea Triana and Heaven for you right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. I remember the moment we dropped this and all things seemed to go a little bit crazy. Right, over the last four years, uh, the interview part of the radio show has always been an interesting one for me. So many of you firstly get in touch and say, Melv, can you ever put out the entire version of the conversation? I mean, yes, I could do that eventually. Some conversations do go on for a long time and uh, we do want to keep the show a music show and cut the interview down as much as we can. Um, however, some of the chats have been interesting. Armin van Helden, who was happily eating away at a sandwich during his interview. The George Benson interview, with which almost fell to bits. Um, I actually had scheduled it for the incorrect day. So uh, whilst the legendary George Benson sat there waiting for me to call, there was no call from me. Uh, luckily, uh, his management managed to rearrange it for the next day. Um, however, one guest does stand out for me when we talk about entertaining guests. There's only ever been one guest who we've had to bleep out for syndicating purposes because their language couldn't be controlled. That was David Morales. And this is what happened when he told us about Mariah Carey and Dream Lover. When I first got approached to do Dream Lover, I mean, everybody knew that Mariah Carey was a bubblegum singer. At that time, she was 21 years old. 21. You know, she was a little, she was a little timid bird, per se. A bird that can sing, but yet she was, you know, she was a bit timid. But when they sent me the record, I was like, I can't do nothing. I said, this is too bubblegum. I said, I can't do nothing with this. And, and, and all I said was, out loud, I was like, the only way this, this will happen is if she was to be sang it. And I just threw the idea out there. I had never worked with a singer before at all. I mean, when she came in and, 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 and we sang the record, I was like, wow. I was like, what the f***? You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the whole, it was a whole learning experience for me because, I'm, you know, I mean, Mariah Carey at 21 years old, she was a f***. She, she, you know, she was the f***. New breakout artist, she was the one, you know. She, you know, the girl sang, you know, you know, in five octaves, it's like she had that pitch, she had, she was, you know, it, it put Mariah into Clubland because Mariah was a bubblegum pop artist. You know what I mean, I mean, by bubblegum, I mean she was mainstream and everybody knew Mariah. She sang these cute little songs, ding a ling a ling, and she some amazing ballads and all that kind of stuff. But she was no diva in Clubland. Nobody heard Mariah open up her pipes to a, to a house record per se. And that's what Dream Lover did for her. You all of a sudden, people, I was like, yo, Mariah's like slapped some soul on us, man. You know, she put us on our ass.
big shout out David Morales. If you missed the show, you can head back to the Glitterbox early days, all available still on SoundCloud. As I mentioned, there were a number of interviews that stood out for me and a number of wonderful guests. Another one that stands out for me is Evelyn Champagne King talking about shame. My mom and dad worked at Philly International, you know, Sigma Sound Studios. My mom was a cleaning woman and my dad worked maintenance. And my sister as well, Wanda King, was also, you know, uh, working with my mom as a cleaning woman. She didn't make it in one day. She, you know, was taken ill. And uh, I went in for her. My mom said, just come in. You know, we're just going to clean. And then we're going to get out. No one is here. You know, and I'm like, great. You know, I got discovered while I was singing a song. Um, I was coming out of the men's room. And I was still singing while I was coming out of the men's room. But a tall, dark, and handsome guy met me outside of the lobby. You know, while I was vacuuming, singing A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. Sea Life heard me. And he wanted to know who was that singing. So I acted, you know, I acted dumb. I didn't, you know, know who it was. Of course, it was only me because I was the only one there. And um, I just... Kept back in it. So he went away from me and he must have found my mom at, at some point because she must have told him it was me. So he came back around and he, you know, he heard me. I was still singing and back in. And he said, uh, she said, are you sure that wasn't you? He said, I know that was you. But something in that, in that, in that order. My last word that I remember him saying to me is one day I'm going to make you a star. And I said, yeah, right. And I just kept back in it. So, after that, I ended up in the studio. He met with my mom's dad and had a little talk. I ended up in the, in the uh, living room of the songwriters, John Fitch, Ruben Cross, and uh, T-Life, which is the you know producer, songwriter as well with them. And I was singing the song to them, playing the acoustic guitars and the electric guitar. And I just sang it down, and he just said, this is our little star.
do right here is go back, way back, back into time. You're listening to the sounds of Glitterbox. 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 Glitterbox.
to the Glitterbox Radio Show. But every night I pray That you won't make a decision Stop messing with my mind Your days of playing games are over Stop being so unhappy 
Festival is back. Defected Croatia 2021 at the Garden Resort in Tizno, Croatia, August 5th through 10th, 2021, featuring your favorite DJs, Armand Van Helden, Bob Sinclair, Dimitri from Paris, Honey Dijon, Jada G, Moody Man, Nightmares on Wax, Purple Disco Machine, and many, many more. Tickets and packages available right now on Defected.com.
Right now you're tuned in to the Glitterbox Radio Show, episode 200, our three hour special today. And now well into part two. The one in the background, the Shapeshifters, Tenny Tink, just the very first time Shapes and Tenny worked together. And they've of course gone on to do wonderful things with some amazing new music to come as well. Before this it was Crack and Smack, back again, the hot toddy mix of that. Right, before we go into the next one, uh, hello to David Morris, getting in touch. Also a big shout this week to DJ Messy Jesse, aka Jessica, uh, requesting Love Sensation. I think we did that for you a bit earlier. Uh, and a big shout to Rich J Mather as well today. Right, next up we're going to hear from a lovely listener. His name is Dean Anderson and he's selecting Purple Disco Machine and In My Arms. Hey Melvo, it's Dean here. Congratulations my friend on your 200th show. It's been a great journey for me. I've listened to them all. I distinctly remember the first one and also Aeroplane back in 2017. To all the houses of shapeshifters, Frankie Knuckles, David Morales, Steve Silk Hurley, Purple Disco Machine. Wow, not to forget Paradise and The Loft. That was just awesome. Melvo, to you and the team, wish you all well. To the next 200th, please, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love you to play PDM in my arms. Purple Disco Machine. I can't wait till you're in my arms again. Thank you. 
are listening to Melville Baptiste on the Glitterbox Radio Show.
wants to be the first to say Wants to be the first to say Wants to be the first to say goodbye
simply a record that will always do everything for me. Gene Calm and Time Waits for No One right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. Before this, DJ Cozy Pickup. And before we go into the next one, hello to Julian. Julian was requesting Kenny Burke rising to the top. Unfortunately, Julian, I haven't been able to squeeze that into today's radio show. But all the love to you and we appreciate you. Thank you for your ears. And a big shout this week to Rob and to Val. They've actually built a glitter box themed outhouse at the back of their garden. It looks amazing. Um, so big shout to you guys and I hope you're enjoying the show today whilst enjoying your outhouse as well. Right, let's go back to 2017. This is Greg Wilson talking about T-Connection and do what you want to do. T-Connection, do what you want to do, um, which was released in 1977. Uh, first 12 inch single I ever came across was uh, Lay Low Sheep and Jaws because uh, the uh, 10% double exposure wasn't released I don't think in the UK on 12 inch until about January 77 um, so you know the first one I'd seen was um, a bit of promo that I'd received by Lalo Schifrin in, in mid 1976 um, and, and you know I, I kind of got straight into it it was very straight it was like what's this is this a, an album with one track and then it was this thing a, a 12 inch single a disco single as, as they call them um, but a lot of DJs uh, didn't go for it they stuck with 7 inches at the time in the UK it was still microphone based and everything and the idea of a long record to a lot of DJs is like it's too long they're supposed to play the three minute version but I think that Do What You Want to Do by T-Connection changed that a lot because um, there's this incredible percussive breakdown uh, within it and you know so and that wasn't in the seven inch so people who were just playing that you know they were getting their customers come up and saying can you, can you play the proper version and so they had to kind of fork out and get themselves probably the first 12 inch with it it's, 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 a, it's a magnificent record um and do what you want to do, um, a crucial release, really. Can everybody start to pick on you? Just can't let them tell you what to do. You've only got one life, so live it cool. <laughs> In this world of strife, you can't be a fool. Let nobody tell you what to do. You gotta be your judge and you do it too. Move on up, don't look around We will 
Glitter Box Radio Show. Glitter Box, where love lives. Time is simply flying by today, fast approaching the last few records of today's show. And I do want to do uh, a nice little up-tempo disco section for you next. Um, However, I had to squeeze this in for you today. There's been so many guests on this show that when it comes to getting on the phone and interviewing, uh, it's quite nerve-wracking because you hold them in such legendary status. And that definitely had it for me when I spoke to Eddie Levert of the OJs. Uh, Here's what happened when he told me a little bit about I Love Music. The way I have to explain this song, um, they had, uh, it was, I think it was Earl Young, Norman Harris, uh, Baker, Tom Bell, Leon Huff, Bobby Martin, Vince Montana. And they're in the studio, and they're trying to come up with something that's very unique and very special to address the music that is happening now, because this is just when disco is starting to creep its head in there, let me say it's beautiful head from my standpoint, because that's when Gamble and Huff came up with that disco beat, that 
doing doing Earl Young playing the fours on the drum, and that song right there, I Love Music, was uh, one of the pioneer songs of the disco era. You know, because that, and that it still recognizes that it's still a great song in our show, and people still, you know, they still get up and they dance to it.
Thank you.
time to play you a little bit of Donna Summer on the radio show today. Could it be magic? The alternate edit of that. Uh, before this one, the OJs and I Love Music. All the love to Eddie Levert. Still can't quite believe we managed to get Eddie Levert from the OJs. All right, going to send a big shout to Rich Hudders, also to Mel. Big shout to Nessie, to JK, uh, regular family who have been with us since day one. All the love to you. Uh, a happy birthday to Donna G. That comes from Sarah Violet. Big shout to you, Sarah, as well. Uh, and also today, big shout to Jeff Kennedy, uh, who's shouting out Natalie James in LA. Right, one of my favourite interviews, and all of you guys know this by now. It was when I got to speak to Valerie Simpson, formidable songwriting duo, herself and Nick. And uh, this is the story behind Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Well, Ain't No Mountain High Enough is, a, you know, one of the most important songs of our career. It was the song that we sent to Motown uh, when they asked us to become writers. We felt like it was a, uh, a real hit and we wanted to go there with what we call it like a golden apple. We wanted to make a good impression. <laughs> So we sent in Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So, you know, here it is 50 years later, and it is just as powerful today as it was back then. And I think it's powerful because even though we wrote it as a love song, Nick, who had just come to New York, was walking down Central Park West in New York, and uh, he looked up at the tall buildings and he said, they look like mountains to me. And I was determined that I was going to make it. I was going to be successful. So it's really a song about overcoming. And that's why it resonates with so many. Ooh, I ain't going nowhere.
Something special's growing, baby, yeah. I'm riding on your rhythm, taking this chance to show it, baby. Now you're making a move, I feel it. You want me, I know it. You show it, you get me.
Wow, um, it looks like we found our way to the end of today's radio show. Uh, going back over the last few records, Womack and Womack, of course, Teardrops. You also heard Roger Sanchez, Another Chance. You heard Life is a Dance Floor. And we've got one more to leave you on. For the crew that are still with us in the final part of today's radio show, I love you. Thank you so much for the last four years. And yeah, long may it continue. We're having way too much fun. Big shout out to all of you. And uh, as I always say, for the 200th time, I'll see you guys next week.